Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of the interview experience by I Love Metallurgy. I am Chobi, and today we have Sishti Ma'am with us as a special guest. She has recently been in the list of top 30 finalists of the Women of Metal Selects and has earned herself an opportunity to join Tata Steel as a management intern. First of all, congratulations, ma'am, for the great achievement. Thank you, Toby. So to begin with, ma'am, could you please tell us about the selection procedure for the Women of Metal? Okay, uh, so the selection procedure is like firstly, there's a test. Okay, and uh, the test is like about around 45 minutes long. So firstly, you have a, a kind of a personality test in which you are given situations and you need to uh, re like choose the answers which would be the best possible solution, the worst one. And uh, that is like 15 questions and you get 15 minutes for it. Then there is uh, the technical part, which is... Uh, I think 30 minutes long and it has 18 questions. So that is how it's 45 minutes long. Then after the test, there is, uh, uh, after the test, like 50 people are selected and then they are given projects based on their domains. And then you need to work on the project for like about four weeks and then present it to in front of the jury members over there. And uh, yeah, so that is the pre-finale. And from that, they select top 10 people who go to the finale and then they present it from some other senior officials. And yeah, on the basis of that, they give out internship offers there. Okay, that was insightful, ma'am. Ma'am, what are the questions written in the written test based on, I mean, the, what are the subjects? Okay, uh, the questions in the written test are... Uh, Mostly from my experience, it was from thermodynamics, uh, a little bit of physical metallurgy, a little of extractive. So mostly thermo and that too, like very basic theoretical level thermodynamics. That's it. That was helpful, ma'am. Ma'am, what were the resources you followed for the written test? Uh, resources, definitely Callister, study Callister very thoroughly. It's very important. Then um, for thermodynamics, I think I went through my 11, 12th notes, uh, the theory part of thermodynamics. And for extractive, you can study from any book that that doesn't matter much. Okay, just uh, you need to know the, all the basic things like the basic processes and about the machines, a uh, little details of that, uh, that is enough. That was helpful, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, what was your project based on? I mean, the topic my of project, the project. Uh, okay, my project was based on steel making. So uh, basically, I had to find ways uh, to reduce the consumption of lime in the basic oxygen furnace. And uh, also, I had to calculate the amount of lime after op all the optimization and all the like considering all the factors. So it, it involved some analysis of data as well. And yeah, like that was it, the consumption of lime. Yeah. Okay, that was insightful, ma'am. Ma'am, since you completed your project in online mode, so were there any challenges you faced? Online mode, like see, online mode has its own advantages and disadvantages. So definitely, uh, like it was a little easier in ways like I was at home. It has its own perks. Take care of working, working at your own pace. But then also things like you don't get to meet people. Uh, you don't get to, uh, you know, live the that atmosphere, that experience um, to, make, to meet such great people, to go over there and meet people. And of course, with the mentor, I think with my mentor, he... Uh, constantly, uh, you know, told ki if you could come, you could visit and that would be better for you. But then since because of this COVID limitation, uh, I couldn't do that. So that is there. These are the limitations. But yeah, it has like it goes both ways. It has its own good and bad. Okay, that was helpful, ma'am. Ma'am, can you share your experience with the project with us? 
uh yeah the project experience was like really amazing i got to learn a lot not just uh, metallurgy like not just steel making but also like i could say life experiences like um to be in a competition and this stuff teaches you a lot of things okay and when you get to that part you will definitely realize that um it's not just the knowledge that you gain from the uh like studying and all but also there are so many other things and i'm really grateful for that experience i got it was really amazing okay so that was helpful ma'am so the last question of the evening could you please share some tips with us to keep in mind uh tips like yeah just i would say consistency is the key to anything just be exam oriented don't study anything and everything okay that is not at all required uh just you know like uh, if you go for everything it's gonna uh, get you all worked up okay and it won't do you any good so that was that is the thing like uh, you know just be very exam oriented believe in yourself study and yeah that is all you need to get through it and definitely uh, if you follow these things i think no one can stop you from getting through this whole competition so that was idealistic ma'am thank you ma'am for taking some time of your busy schedule it was a pleasure to have you here with us with this we would like to end our interview here and thank you everyone wishing you all the best for your future